what is a sprite and how do you use it hi guys welcome back to Autech and today we look at how sprites work sometime when you are creating videos especially if you have used VSDC before you will notice that um, moving smaller portions of videos if you are creating a video from smaller portions of videos like let's say you are creating uh, slip music videos or funny animal videos and then there are some clips that are small as uh, as small as 15 seconds and you find it very hard to move around such small pieces of videos now this is where a sprite helps you create one compact video or group your videos into one and move it around as a block before we get into our VSDC free video editor if you are interested in learning VSDC video editor there are tutorials in the description section below click on the links and watch all the tutorials that you have created before don't forget to click on the subscribe button share and like this video so that our video algorithm can help it uh, many people get to find it and learn how to use VSDC and edit the videos to create uh, great content so let's go into our video editor and see how you can use sprite feature in VSDC so once we have opened our VSDC video editor application, we are going to create a video and this time we are not uploading one big video but we are going to use smaller videos that somehow are hard to move around or if that doesn't work we can just uh, stream a certain videos until it looks too small to move around. So it's, let's just add objects from here. So we are just going to select video and then we can add objects so let's choose um, i'm going to go to my downloads i could find some videos that i downloaded before that i don't frequently use so let me just add this i'm going to add this model video so you can always select um, a number of videos just click on the first press and hold on control button on your keyboard and select the rest of the videos that you would like to add to that so I'm going to add this, those uh, three, four videos, then click on open. Now, one thing you should note that is when you select multiple videos, when you're starting to create your video, it will take you to this um, carousel like page where you, are, you can add items. So, this part another thing that you can learn from this part real quick is you can add effects from uh, between these sections here so we'll do that in our next video so right now just click on apply settings then i have my videos here now in this case my videos are big and they can be moved around like this so i'm going to try this with the very last video here which looks big going to trim the end section trim end then you can see now that this piece that is left here is too small for me to move this video around my pointer here needs to change into that finger like or like a hand like so that I can drag it but if I move it to this you can move it around so that means that when you try to move this video it won't move because it's blocked by that until you move it down and into that end section but you can move this video and if you expand it it will uh, not play because the video duration as you can see here is uh, let's see what's the video duration duration is uh, two seconds one second that is one second 1.8 seconds so if I uh, extend it the only part that will play will be that one second that um, you can see here and then the rest of it will just ha show the image so what you should do if you want to create a sprite is select everything within your uh, work area so I'll just click on the first press on hold on control on your keyboard and select the rest like that and do that for this too then now you're going to right click on it and say convert to sprite now you should note that this uh, sprite Thing makes it easier for videos to be moved around so now I can move it around like this and even if I wanted to add another video at the beginning of this and I don't want to move it to move uh, smaller portions of videos 
I'll convert it into sprite and um, move it easily as a block of videos. Let's just look at an example. So I'm going to undo that and remove the sprite. Now let's say I wanted to add another video here. It will mean that I'll have to move these videos one by one. And remember that the last one is not really moving that well. So if I was to do that, then I'll have to move this and move this, move this. For me to create a space to add, like if I wanted to move that video at the beginning. But with the sprite, it becomes easier because all I have to do is select all this. Select all of them and right click convert to sprite. Then I can move it easily and create as much space as I want at the beginning of this first video. So that's how you use sprite to group videos and move them around easily. And um, I hope this uh, turns out a positive addition to your uh, video editing skills or, or content creation skills. If you love it, click on the subscribe button, share it with friends and give me a thumb up and see you in the next video.